Today I'm gonna go more in depth with the tricks than the demo has, and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to a new video. Warning, this video contains spoilers that are not in the Outriders demo. So, if you don't want spoilers, please leave this video now. You have five seconds. You have been warned. So today, we are gonna get into all of the information on the trickster that we currently know. This is the last video in the in-depth series for now, but not the end of the Outriders videos, so stay tuned. Previously, I had made an in-depth video on the Pyromancer, the Technomancer, and the Devastator. If you guys would like to check those videos out, I will put them in several annotations in this video at the end of the video, and I will put a link to all four in-depth videos in the description box below. For this video, I will be going over what we already know about the Trickster as well as tons of information that is not in the Outriders demo. So let's get started with everything that we already know first. The Trickster is a close range damage dealing beast that controls space time. It is known as the Assassin class. Like the Pyromancer, this class focuses on anomaly power, but unlike the Pyromancer, it's at close range. In the demo, we get four assigned trickster skills. Those skills are Temporal Blade, Slow Trap, Hunt the Prey, and Twisted Rounds. Temporal Blade paralyzes and slices enemies in front of you, dealing 172 damage, inflicting slow, and interrupting all targets. Slow Trap creates a space-time anomaly sphere that inflicts slow to enemies and projectiles that enter the spheres for 10 seconds. It's about time to do that Neo thing. Points if you get that reference. Next, we have Hunt the Prey. This ability allows you to passively select an enemy and teleport behind them. Activating this skill also gives you a 63 shield bonus. But what the demo doesn't tell you about this ability is that when you activate Hunt the Prey and you teleport behind the enemy, this skill also applies slow to the enemies that you are close to. I promise you, go in game and do it, but don't attack them and you can see it for yourself. The last skill is Twisted Rounds, which fill your current weapon's magazine with anomaly-infused rounds that increase your firepower by 100. This skill lasts until you reload or change your weapons. Also, the Trickster's melee attack inflicts slow in a small radius. This helps a lot if Hunt the Prey is on a cooldown and you need to get a little distance between you and the enemy. When it comes to combos with the Trickster, you have a plethora of options. Against adds, I like using Hunt the Prey to get in close. Then, if there are a lot of enemies around you, I will use Slow Trap, followed by Temporal Blade. If there aren't a lot of enemies, I will just use Temporal Blade and clean up with a shotgun. When it comes to a boss fight, I will use Twisted Rounds first, then Hunt the Prey in order to get close, use Temporal Blade, and then start shooting the boss. As for this class, taking a hit, it is definitely not squishy at all. When you get a kill close up, not only do you gain health, but also shields as well. Now, let's get into everything that the demo doesn't tell us. First off, we have a tank, but I will get into that in just a few. The Trickster has three fundamentals, movement, damage, and disruption. These fundamentals are how the Trickster survives on Enoch. Let's get into a few skills that are not in the demo, and the first one we will start with is called Borrow Time. When you activate Borrow Time, you will get a percentage of your health as a shield. This ability also creates a time clone in the exact location and position you were when the ability was cast. This can be used as a diversion, which enemies focus on the clone instead of you while you get close. If things are getting a little out of hand, you can actually use the ability again to teleport back to the location of the time clone. So, let's go ahead and get into the class trees. Originally, back in May 2020, the class trees were named Master of Space, Harbinger, and Assassin. Also, some of the passive abilities have been changed as well. Coming to the present date of March 2021, there has been some changes to the names and the layout of the tree. 
The assassin name was moved from the bottom of all three trees to the top, removing Master of Space completely from the game, and the picture of the trickster was actually flipped. Harbinger remains the same as well as its entire tree, and the old assassin tree is now called Reaver. The new assassin tree provides bonuses while you are moving and improves all of your close combat attacks whether it be an ability or a weapon. Shotguns and SMGs get bonuses when you use movement based skills like Hunt the Prey and Borrow Time. The Harbinger is the tank tree for the Trickster. This class focuses on damage reduction as well as shield bonuses so you don't get unalived. The Reaver tree is all about your skill damage. You gain bonuses when you use damage and movement skills. This tree also gives you an additional anomaly power and skill leech options. Okay, so that is everything that the demo does not tell us about the game. Now, I have an ability that I would like to see in a future update, and I have done this for all four of the classes. For the Trickster, I call it Cosmic Fissure. Cosmic Fissure opens three spatial portals in a large radius around an enemy. All projectiles fired through the portals are redirected onto enemies inside the radius. This skill lasts for five seconds. So, let me give you a visual. One portal opens in front of you, and the other two portals are on the flanks of the enemies inside the large radius. This in turn creates a kill box inside that radius. Let me know what you guys think of Cosmic Fissure in the comment section below. Also, if you have an ability for a class that you made, let me know what it is and how it works down in the comment section. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. And if you need a place to play Outriders with new people, then go ahead and join the Everything Outriders Discord. The entire Outriders community is welcome. You can make friends, do some LFG, get tons of info on the game such as patch notes, data mines, and look at all of the legendaries in the game as well. It's growing every day, so come and join us. A link to the Discord will be on screen and in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next one.